welcome for um, another video um, in this video is going to be a little bit different I am going to do a ranking video I never did those before I'm going to um, say and explain the reasons um, well I'm ranking the Pokemon um, series from um, the worst until the, uh, the best um, in my opinion so this is completely my opinion I would also be interested to know your um, order on the generations as well so furthermore let's begin Okay, so um, before I get into the Pokemon, um, I just want to um, say uh, the origins of it. Well, in my expertise, um, I, Pokemon was my first anime I ever watched. I watched Pokemon since it first aired in English, um, back when I was like three or four, when it first came on. I mean, I was so, so tiny then. So, but Pokemon is the only thing ever I remembered um, watching for the longest time. Pokemon been a part of my life since I was basically born. So, Pokemon will always have a deep connection to me. So, even the series, I mean the main um, series is completely done now, has 22 seasons. And now it got rebooted, but I am still watching it. I am still loving it. Pokemon will always be a keep shape, a keep, um, say treasure for me. So let's um, begin the the series. I don't like um at all. Well, I mean I like all the Pokemon episodes, but if I have to rank them, this definitely the least on my list. And that is Pokemon Sun and Moon. I mean, I have all 21, 21 seasons what came out so far. Um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Probably, um, yeah. I mean, I like, um, I like the Pokemon design, like Woof Woof. Um, I probably said that wrong. Um, I like the designs, but I do not like the idea that Pokemon have gotten sort of lazy, in my idea, in my opinion. Um, Pokemon to me, um, I just um, so you, um, Pokemon for me is like this. A game about a crest. A young boy who goes on a crest. Not a young boy who's in school. And pretty much spend most of the series in school. I and mean, yeah, there are some legendary battles in this. Which I have to admit were pretty cool. And we did like when... Um, I forgot what her name is. But when she um, became... Loving Lily, Lily, I think her name was Lily, uh, became loving with Pokemon when she um, risked her life to save her Vulpix. But that was pretty good. So, so I put that down on there because w- that will be in the list since obviously um, Pokemon Journeys is just beginning. Um, so, obviously. Obviously, yeah, isn't a DVD release so far, so I'll put that on the side to mark that one. But Sun and Moon, definitely the least favourite. It has some good moments, I mean, in Pokemon, but the character design at first put me off, 
but as I, I tend to watch the series, it sort of grew on me. I haven't seen the final season, I'm waiting until they come out and watching them as a bulk. Apart from the newer season, I'm watching that um, subbed online. The next one, um, which at the moment is three worst series, and then we get to the, and then the best of one to the, the best series. Um, the second worst series, in my opinion, which for the youngest time used to be my first favourite until Sun and Moon came around, we got Pokemon the Black and White Generation. Um, I didn't really get into this, and the worst episode, in my opinion, of Pokemon, the very worst episode, is when Ash acted like a very little kid. Um, if you can remember the episode um, with the junk Pokemon, um, with the little preschool kids who were sort of protesting, and as even though he's 10 years old, acted like he was 5 years old, and that episode is so cringeworthy, I, oh, that episode is so bad, um, so that pretty much, I mean, yeah, like I said, it got some good moments, you had the N, um, um, take on it, and that was basically it, the gym battles were pretty good, but besides from that, black and white, definitely the second least favourite on my opinion, okay, now the third and final least favourite, we got Pokemon Journeys. I have not seen the dubbed, I'm waiting until they come out before what's the English take on them. So I'm, I'm caught up, I'm caught up with episode 23 of the subs, but um, I am I enjoying it, that's why I put it as the last least favourite, I'm enjoying it. The opening, the Japanese opening is amazing. I completely love the openings. But like I said, Pokemon is about a boy with a quest. I mean, yes, he do go on a quest. He isn't exactly lazy, but the... Um, but... He just go to different regions and... With it when Go, I love the character design. Go is one of my favourite characters of that generation. But Pokemon um it sort of bugs me a bit because it it basically um it basically this game and this game combined. Um it have these Pokemon in it, and have these aspects in it, like the Pokeball, for instance. You just throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon, and you catch it. As caught a lot of rare Pokemon, just for throwing a Pokeball. In the other Pokemon series, that is completely impossible. So, Pokemon Journeys is complete them two um, games combined into one and made a TV show. So that basically Pokemon Journeys. Um, but it got some weak, I mean, yeah, we're too early into the series, I suppose, episode 23. But I looked online and apparently it got an end this year. I'm not too sure. Well, but anyway, I'm hoping the gym battles are not games exclusives no more. I would... I would be happy to see these gym battles get an anime adaption. I want the Pokemon how they used to be. I want Pokemon where they are complete um journey like for instance even as and go. Um I want them to, to like travel la travel around, both of them collecting gym badges or well go has full intentions on catching Mew so I guess he don't need I guess he can be like the sort of May or Dawn aspects he, uh, he go around with Asper on its own different terms pretty much I just want the gym battles to come back in anime 
I mean, uh, X, Y, Z were the last of the gym battles, and that is sort of upsetting. I mean, if you were going to do that, I prefer how X, Y, Z ended. That should have been um, the final series, not the Sun and Moon rubbish. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> that my rant of the least favourites. Now we get to my favourites. So my um, last favourite on this list, we got X, Y, Z. I love the Pokemon um, designs. They are so cute. Um, especially especially Fennekin, um, I mean, I think he named me Pancham or something, he is so cute, and um, especially the Eevee as well, I mean Eevee is my favourite character, that's why I picked up Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, um, but XY said is, I've been saying XY said for the whole series, ain't I, no, XY said is just the name of the last season. I'm in the XY generation. Um, I I do really like this show. The first couple of episodes is definitely where I get kicking off, where Ash was his life, like he always do. But this is the extreme level. Ash never did this extreme before. He like jump off the um, the sort of Eiffel Tower, uh, wet Pikachu, to save Pikachu. I mean, Ash could have died. If nobody, if that mysterious masked man never um, showed up, Ash would have been dead. So, it definitely have a lot of um, going on with this series. And the final um, season is definitely more dark and much more um, good. The one thing I would say, not bad for the series, but the one thing I would say what they should have done, I mean they it was dubbed, but it never came out on DVD. Neither, I mean, I'm from the UK, but it never came out in Australia, where I got all these from. Well, imported. Um, that I forgot what it's called. Um, Mega Evolution. Yeah, the um, the three or four episodes Mega Evolution. What should have um, was spam across the entire series, but um, sort of connects onto this series. So we had the mega evolution and um, journeys of that one guy and that little girl. We should have gone into this blind of knowing who they are. So that what I didn't really like is they should have added on to these seasons. But besides from that, it was a very, very good um generation. Okay, now we are talking about the generations I grew up with as a kid. These are, we are just talked about is when I was like 16 onwards. I watched these. I mean, I'm 25 now, so these are like 16 onwards. But now we're on about the ones when I were a kid. The next one is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. This might be a bit weird uh, to people who don't understand, but when the theme tune for the first series of Diamond and Pill comes on, I have, I mean, okay, time to explain how this works. I, when I come home from school, I come, I, it, Pokemon usually on a half five, and I get home. Um, about four is can't can't wait, excited for Pokemon. Um, and Diamond and Pearl, when the first theme tune, so um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I had to um cut off because my mum just phoned me. Um, she have a um, bad timing when I'm filming my videos. But anyway, as I was saying, when I um in this um, school um usually um a, a few times a week my i usually watch pokemon diamond and pearl over my grandma's um because when i um finish school i usually go over there for some dinner 
and we normally have a chippy dinner. And only uh, once or twice a week, I have a chippy dinner, and the chip, the chippy um, I went to, I have to love their chips. I mean, I still do, but I haven't been there for quite a while. Um, and I just every time I watch the opening Pikachu. of the first um, series of Diamond and Pearl, the backflash. The beings, the taste of the chips in my mouth, me uh, watching Pokemon Diamond and Pill, just fizzing in it over my, at my grandma's house. It's just completely nostalgic for me. It just seemed a bit weird that um, that is sort of the most cherished I ever got with Pokemon Diamond and Pill, just sitting down with a bag of chips in front of me, just watching Pokemon Diamond Pill, and Pill. And Enjoying it to the fullest. So Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon Devney is a treasure when it comes to um, my childhood. That for sure. And um, I really enjoyed Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I mean the characters like Grumpy Paul and um, Chimchar, Willow, Willu, and um, Willu, um. And of course, you still got Brock in this. As he visited the um, last series, you see Brock as the main character. And of course, he preferred to get ever. Yeah, I. I love. I, it's been a while, it's been a, yeesh, a few years since I sat down and watched Pokemon. I mean, I'm up to date with the episodes from um, Sun and Moon. About and and journeys in the Japanese aspects, but I think as soon as season twenty two comes out, I'm going to just completely bench watch it. I mean, the over a thousand episodes though will take me a long time, but I will I will do it. The next one is my second favorite of all time, is the original series. I mean, it definitely, I mean, the original series, obviously, the ones that I watched when I was very, very little, like three or four years old. And I remember back when I was like four, five, my, my parents came home and surprised me with the volume one and two, because they both came out at the same time. Volume one and two of Pokemon on VHS. I still can remember how excited I was. As soon as they gave me it, I just completely ran over to the VCR and just put it in. I was so excited. And the original series is so close for being my first favourite. But I have so, so much memories watching it. I mean, if I have to pick Master Quest is my favourite season out of all of them. Because we got introduced to some really cool characters. And my favourite non-main character in the whole um, original um, series is definitely Witchy. I wish they brought Witchy back and Sparky. Because them two were completely... I, I do love them where they should have catch a similar Pokemon to Ash. Yeah, so um, that is um, my second favourite, if the original um, generation. And now, my favourite one is Pokemon Advance. Pokemon Advance is completely my favourite. Battle Frontier is my favourite out of the Advance generation. But um, with the journeys with May, Max, I. I have so much memories of watching it, especially Pokemon Advance Battle. I have probably the most memories about. I watched Pokemon Advance Battle when I was ill, um, and when when something really bad happened in my life, I probably may do a video about it eventually. But something really really bad happened to me when I was like twelve, 
and I almost didn't make it. Um, Alma did. Alma died. As soon as I got home, because I was in a state of shock at the time. As soon as I got home, I put Pokemon Advance Battle on, and it sort of calmed me down. So Pokemon Advance Battle, Pokemon Battle Frontier, Pokemon. <laughs> what can I say? Pokemon been a big part of my life since I was very small, and Advance Generation is have to be my favorite of all time. So that basically um it um. This is my ranking of the Pokemon series, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as I enjoyed making it. I mean, I didn't think this video would be as long as it did. I didn't think I would talk as... To be honest, when I thought about filming it, I didn't think I would have that much to say. But as soon as I got going about Pokemon, the memories, the feelings, are just bursting out of... Oh. Anyway, um, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and I'll see you um, on my next video. Yeah, it is.